How long has it been since the last video? I don't even know. Been kind of busy, so I'm trying to stay committed to the YouTube channel. And um, just wanted to do a mid-summer update. It is July 22nd here in Georgia. And uh, I think my last video was, I don't know, a couple months ago. Been really, really busy, but um, I'm trying to stay committed to the channel. So for today, I just want to do an update on where we are, what I've done done so many things that I just have not documented but um, yeah like I said it's uh, July 22nd here in Georgia um, and um, the lawn the lawn has been through some changes so this is my front lawn um, what did I do <laughs> what have I done so I know about three weeks ago or two weeks ago I did a mid-summer scalp which everybody tells you you're really not supposed to do, especially with the uh, somewhat drought conditions that we've had here in Georgia. Um, but I timed that scalp. Um, I timed that scalp according to the calendar and the forecast to make sure that we were at least getting some chance of rain. And it actually worked out. So, um, you know, I looked at the 10 day forecast and saw that there was some chance of rain over the next four or five days. And I'll show you some pictures here in a second uh, to show you what the lawn looked like um, about three weeks ago. And as you can see what it looks like now. So, um, yeah, it is recovered really, really nice. Uh, it's greened up. Um, and and it looks good and i think i think one of the things that help you know whenever you're in a drought condition definitely has to do with um how healthy the lawn is and what you are putting in the lawn to supplement um you know the nutrients and and what have you uh, i've been telling some of my friends that the melorganite i have found really really helps for a drought condition uh in two ways um, one main way is that it's it's iron rich and you know iron for those people that don't know is what gives the lawn that green that deep green look and I definitely need to cut my grass here but um, after I scalped it I did put um, a bag of melorganite this is like a thousand square feet so uh, that's at a high rate for what's recommended I think that bag covers like 5,000 but I think it really really helped for the lawn to bounce back and um, not brown out you know with the limited rains that you know rain that we've had so I also want to take you to the backyard and, and just give you an idea of what's going on back there um, so I don't know if I mentioned this in any of my video but my backyard was tough. <laughs> it was it was it was tough to deal with because I actually um, had some I had some grub damage last fall, and I don't know if I have any pictures, but a lot of this was just patchy and brown, and I was really really concerned as to how it would recover. Um, in the spring and summer and as you can see, I mean you can't even tell I, I don't even I can't even Find where the patches are. Maybe I can I don't know if you guys can see where some areas are a, a sort of Lighter green than the other areas. I think those were all of the areas that were were patchy and um, Where the grub did some damage, but you can see the the lighter green grass is the new growth that is filled in those areas but you can you can't even tell and for a while the front i mean the back was looking much much better than even the front 
and all of my work up until this time has been in uh, in the front of the, the property. But one thing I am concerned about right here, back here, is um, I'm seeing some sign of fungus. I don't know if any of y'all know about fungus, but you can see uh, this web-like uh, structure here that appears on the grass is actually signs of uh, fungus that's starting to develop. So I've actually done several treatment, but as you can see, there are still areas where I'm seeing these uh, fungus patches. So what I'll do is definitely maybe do an apply another application and you can see like those brown areas there um, is sign of, of fungus but I'm probably going to do another granular application I really want to do the um, the liquid application I think from what I've heard it seems to to work better and be more effective so I'll probably be doing that over 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 the next few days um, today is Wednesday so maybe by this weekend I'll try to get another application in but as you can see I mean the backyard just looks really really good um, and going back to the front I just want to to kind of explain why I did the the the, the midsummer scalp the main reason I did the midsummer scalp I was telling a friend of mine but the grass was growing so thick. It wasn't high, but it was so thick that I've been using a manual lawnmower. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a manual reel mower. And it was to the point where the grass was not growing high, but it was just spreading out. And it was so thick that it was just unmanageable. And I know generally that's a good problem to have. People are trying to think it thicken up their lawn um but it was just to the point where i just couldn't handle it and um i would definitely tell anyone and i'll, I'll may, may do a separate video let me know if you guys want me to do a video on how i thickened up my lawn um but one of the one of the ways to get your lawn thick is for as long as you can manage it definitely don't want to do this during the hot hot months uh, when you are facing drought because it will burn out your lawn but if you can cut your grass as low as possible it's going to force the upward growth um, all of that energy from the upward growth is going to be transferred to the 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 vertical i'm sorry the horizontal growth and that's how you really get it to thicken up really really nice so i think what i've been doing is as i have been um constantly keeping it at a low level um roughly i guess maybe you know an inch or less than an inch it's really forced the 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 growth and the movement to be more horizontal than vertical so all of that energy um, that the plant is using to grow upward it's just using that energy to grow to grow out and spread out so definitely um, a tip for those that are looking to thicken up their lawn again let me know if you guys want me to do a separate video on that I can certainly do that um, but yeah, just wanted to do this quick video. The only other thing that I've done here is I've added uh, some iron supplements. Um, there's uh, an iron supplement that I use again, again, just to keep it green. And if you, if you guys want want to get more information about that, just uh, leave me a comment. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna try to to maintain my commitment and do more of these videos and 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 keep a consistency and a, and a cadence going here. Um, but definitely please subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel. Subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know if this has been helpful. Um, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Thank you.